Welcome to the Pharmacy Channel. I am Dr. Hozam Khalaf, Certified Clinical Pharmacist. Today we are diving deep into ibuprofen, a widely used analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and antipyretic medication suitable for both adults and children. Understanding how this medication works can empower you to manage pain and inflammation more effectively while ensuring safety. Ibuprofen primarily works by inhibiting the production of specific chemicals in the body known as prostaglandins. These chemicals are responsible for inflammation, pain, and fever. By blocking the enzyme cyclooxygenase, ibuprofen effectively decreases the levels of prostaglandins, thereby reducing inflammation and relieving pain. This mechanism makes ibuprofen an excellent choice for various conditions, as it not only addresses pain but also swelling and heat associated with inflammation. Now, let us go over the various uses of ibuprofen. It is commonly used to relieve mild to moderate pain from various sources like headaches, muscle aches, menstrual cramps, back pain, toothaches, and even pain related to osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Beyond pain relief, ibuprofen is also effective in lowering fever, making it a go-to option when treating fever in children and adults alike. Additionally, some healthcare providers may prescribe it for specific inflammatory conditions, such as bursitis or tendonitis, to help reduce discomfort and improve mobility. When it comes to dosing, adult patients typically receive a standard dose of 200 to 400 milligrams every 6 to 8 hours as needed. It is crucial to note that individuals should not exceed 1200 milligrams within a 24 hour period unless directed otherwise by a healthcare professional, especially in a short term treatment plan. For children, the dosage is primarily calculated based on their body weight, usually ranging from 5 to 10 milligrams per kilogram every 6 to 8 hours. Always consult with a pediatrician or healthcare provider to determine the appropriate dosage for your child's specific needs as children's tolerances and reactions can vary widely. As with any medication, being aware of potential side effects is essential. Common side effects of ibuprofen may include stomach upset, nausea, dizziness, and headache. While most people tolerate ibuprofen well, some may experience more severe side effects, such as gastrointestinal bleeding, liver problems, or kidney issues with prolonged use. Allergic reactions, though rare, can occur, leading to symptoms like rashes, itching, or difficulty breathing. Therefore, it is crucial to closely monitor yourself or your child for any unusual symptoms after taking ibuprofen and seek medical attention immediately if any severe reactions occur. When using ibuprofen, precautionary measures are necessary. Individuals with specific health conditions such, such as peptic ulcer disease, chronic kidney disease, asthma, or conditions that impact the liver should avoid using ibuprofen or consult with a healthcare provider first. Pregnant individuals, especially during the later stages of pregnancy, should also consult a healthcare provider as ibuprofen may affect uterine contractions and fetal development. Furthermore, it is highly recommended to avoid taking ibuprofen with alcohol as this can increase the risk of gastrointestinal issues like ulcers or bleeding. Today, we also want to highlight the importance of non-pharmaceutical alternatives for managing pain and inflammation. Many individuals find relief through physical therapy, heat or ice application, and certain dietary adjustments. Incorporating anti-inflammatory foods into your diet, such as fatty fish, nuts, and leafy vegetables, may also provide additional benefits. In summary, ibuprofen is a versatile and effective medication for relieving pain and inflammation in adults and children alike. While it offers significant benefits, it is important to use it responsibly and to consult a healthcare professional when in doubt. Your health and safety are paramount, so take the time to understand how to use ibuprofen correctly in your pain management regimen. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more informative health-related content.